Good evening, welcome to the channel and welcome aboard this C8 in Swanwick Marina on a nice warm sunny day. I've just finished a sea trial video and I've just made a video about the boat in terms of a tour of it on my other channel, Yacht Boy. So make sure you check that out. I'll leave a link in the video description. All I want to do now is just show you around this boat and show you some of my favorite features from spending the day on board this fantastic aluminium rugged fast boat obviously starting with the helm position i mean when we were out today uh, we had some pretty lumpy seas uh, but this position is absolutely fantastic for all round visibility note the stanchions on the windows are really narrow so it doesn't obstruct your view uh, we've got a door here obviously it leads out onto the foredeck um, it's open at the moment, as you can tell, but I'll close that in a second so you can see what it looks like shut. Uh, over here on the port side, we've got a navigator seat. As I said, this boat is rugged and it is built for fast offshore cruising. Uh, and you can tell because of the amount of grab rails that it's got in here that it is built to take on the big stuff. Uh, over here on the starboard side, we've got the throttle control lever uh, with the trim. Ergonomically speaking, it's, it's really fantastic layout. Uh, you can just rest your hand in here as you control the throttle uh, with your thumb. When you're bouncing around on the waves, being able to have your hand in a steady place and just give subtle changes in the throttle control uh, is a really great feature. I love the way it sits on this, uh, this bit of ledge here. Over here on the starboard side of the helm, we've got the various switches for the wipers, nav lights, bilge pump, and a few spares as well. Uh, here we have the LED indicators for the uh, starboard and port trim tabs. I'm gonna show you them in a minute because for a boat of this size, uh, they are really big. Uh, the fuel tank level gauge there. And again, we've got stick controls for the starboard uh, and the port trim tabs. Uh, really intuitive controls here, literally. When we were out today, uh, hammering along at you know 40 knots, just giving very subtle inputs onto these controls made a massive difference. Uh, and when used obviously in combination with the engine trim, uh, you get a really comfortable solid ride. Um, one of the features that I love about this boat, which you'll see on my other video, is just how well she handles in pretty choppy conditions uh, when motoring really fast. I mean, we were doing hard turns to ports and hard turns to starboard and the hull was just sticking to the water. Uh, there was no cavitation as well, which I think is a really interesting point. Because there's a step on the stern of the hull, you get clean water hitting the prop, which when you're making really sharp turns is really important, because as I say, you don't lose hardly any speed uh, due to cavitation. So yeah, I think it's a really great helm position. And also we've got a bow thruster. So the guy that owns this boat, Simon, the guy has been kind enough to invite me down today, uh, did all the maneuvering of this boat on his own. Uh, when we left, did it all on his own. When we came back alongside, did it all on his own. Uh, and that's the point. You can handle this boat quite easily. You don't need to have a lot of experience. If you're going from a rib uh, up to something where you want to stay warm and dry in the winter months, and you're used to handling the boat on your own, this boat is a fantastic option. Uh, also got a Webasto heater on here as well. So yeah, that is a helm position uh, and obviously is one of my favorites. When we look underneath here as well. Now, imagine you're on this boat on your own and you're out at sea near a shipping lane uh, and you get a fuse that blows. The last thing you wanna be doing is spending loads of time you know, taking off covers to get to the fuses. Uh, the great thing on here is that if you do need to get to uh, any of the fuses, then you've got ready access uh, without having to take anything off. Obviously you've got a vent over here as well uh, to help blow air around. Love the fact you've got this foot rest, you can really kind of anchor yourself into this seat. Uh, it's obviously got suspension um, and you can do it on the port side as well, on the navigator's chair. Again, when I was riding on this, I had both feet on here. Uh, really comfortable bucket seat and obviously the suspension taking all of the uh, hard impact out of the waves so yeah really great seating arrangement on here i've uh, got vhf radio on the port side 
as we come up let's go out onto the bow now for a boat of this size the amount of space you get on the bow is really exceptional looking aft see the great profile of those windows there this has actually got a heater that is diesel powered um, and the guy was telling me in the, in the two years that he's had this boat he's hardly ever had to top up a diesel tank for the heater and he uses his boat a lot so yeah really fantastic amount of space grab rails all around so when you're moving about uh, whether you're at sea or coming alongside uh, especially if you're coming up onto a beach there's plenty to grab hold on uh, now another favorite feature for me is this door if i show you how easy it is to close literally one finger i can push that all the way down and obviously you lock it from the inside uh, but you've got a wiper on the center screen a wiper on the starboard and a wiper on the port side as well but just look at that i mean this boat means business i love the commercial look and styling of this again let's open this boat up it's good to see you've got some seating padded seating here on the starboard side and on the port side as well let's go back in and i'll show you how easily this shuts from the inside as well come back up bring this down really well engineered meticulously designed i mean that is solid that is a watertight door now um, that is shut and obviously you can take some big waves over that bow uh, and it's not going to affect um, the integrity the, the watertight integrity of this cabin space because that door is just so solid and expertly crafted into the uh, design of the boat one of the interesting things that I learned when I was on this boat, I asked about having openings in these windows, but this boat is actually designed so that if you're in Finland or somewhere in the Northern Hemisphere, you decide to go on a beach, the windows have to be polar bear proof, which is really interesting. So they have to have a certain amount of integrity so that they can withstand um, the blows from a polar bear, uh, which is one of the reasons why you don't have cutouts in these windows but why would you need those cutouts when you've got two massive sunroofs there electrically operated literally only takes about 15 seconds for that to shut yeah but what do you think let me know in the comments another feature that i really like is the fact that you can turn this part of the boat into a berth if you wanted to i'll put an image up on the screen now showing you uh, what that looks like Another feature that I have to show you on this boat that really blew me away is the size of the trim tabs. Uh, they are massive. For a boat of this size, I was not expecting it. And hopefully you can see the size of that. Obviously on the port side and on the starboard side as well. You've got a swim ladder over there on the port side. But yeah, overall, an incredibly impressive boat. Um, like I say, if you were thinking of going from a rib up to something where you have a bit more creature comfort in the winter months, uh, then I'd highly recommend uh, this Vigo C8. A massive thank you to the owner of this beautiful boat for allowing me to come and spend the day on it. I've really enjoyed it. Please make sure you give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching.